What's up guys? So we are back and as you can see, I switched up the front lip back to an IS lip. This is also an eBay lip. And the reason why I switched back to this lip is not only was the other one chipping and I didn't want to repaint it, but I picked up this splitter from Gurgistic. So this is their new all aluminum front splitter that fits only the IS lips. And even though this one's an eBay one, it should still fit. Me and Christian already mocked it up and kind of figured out where the edge would be and we marked it with blue tape. It's actually not too heavy because uh, it's all aluminum, but uh, I got some good hardware that we're going to use to install it on this. So we're going to go film that today and show you guys how to install this and show you guys how it looks. And then one of these days, I'm also going to paint this lip white so it matches the rest of the car. But yeah, so let's go finish mocking this up, figure out where we need to drill holes and then mount it to the lip. So yeah, let's go. And just to give you an idea of how it's going to look, it could be something like that. So. <laughs> We didn't do the greatest job because we kind of rushed it, but as you can see, we kind of lined up the edge with the tape so that uh, we know what parts we can drill. In the back, that won't be seen, and we can match it up to the bottom of the lip. So, just marked it up a little bit, and uh, when I pull this off, you'll see now we have this much space to work with and to actually create a mounting surface for this to this. Next step, I think, is going to be taking off this lip, drilling holes, and securing it with the hardware I got and clamping it together, so yeah. Here, this is where the clip that connects to the valence but I just drilled holes on the sides and this is where the clips connect from the valence onto the valence so if that makes any sense if I had a clip right now it might be easier to explain but pretty much I just use these holes now because the valence has these holes already anyways I think it's a better way to mount the lip anyways because these clips have fallen off and failed on me before so yeah so after looking at it for a while, I think I figured out a technique to mount this. Now, I'm not going to say this is the best way to mount it, but this is just the way that I'm going to go about doing it. So I went by the hardware shop and I picked up a bunch of these bolts and a bunch of these fat washers and some nylon nuts. The nylon nuts are so that it doesn't back out and undo itself. It'll actually stay locked there. And then the big washers are so that it distributes the torque when I tighten it so that if I were to hit a bump or something, it wouldn't just rip out of the lip. It would actually still stay on. Just gives it more surface area to clamp onto. But I think the plan of attack right now is to just pre-drill holes on the bottom side of the lip where I want the bolts and then I will mock it up on top of the splitter and then mark where those holes are and then drill the same holes onto the splitter and then we can run these bolts through with the washers and then we'll see what other modifications we'll have to do once we get there but hopefully this will work there's probably better ways to do this but this is the way I'm gonna do it and the hardware only cost me like a dollar eighty cents and I got a nice good bag of it and then uh, that should be good so let's go and give this a shot Now that we got the three bolts in the middle mounted, uh, we're gonna go mount the lip to the valence with zip ties, of course, and figure out where we can drill the holes on this side, just so that we make sure it fits like perfect while it's on the car. And that's also because, like we said earlier, the IS slip is from eBay and it 
is like a little bit deformed. So if we were to just mount it, you know, just on this, then it might flex weird once we actually mount it to the valence. So that's why we're doing this right now. Probably other ways to do this, but this is the way we're gonna do it. So let's get to mounting it. have it soft mounted with just being held by the three bolts that we add in the middle and the sides are obviously hanging off but now what we can do is just lift it up mark it with tape where the edge runs and then take the whole thing off again and then drill those final holes uh, for that so yeah it looks pretty sick I like it once it's aired out it'll look even doper so let's go and uh, add some tape and figure out what to do next All right, now that we got it all mocked up and marked, time to take it right back off. So we finished mounting the splitter to the lip. So now it's time to finally mount it all together onto the valence. So uh, let's go see how that looks. All right, so this is the moment of truth. We have Arasio inside of Brendan and they're gonna air it out. All right, go ahead. That looks so sick. I think it's not actually touching the floor. It's actually just barely. It probably is touching the floor actually. But that thing looks sick, man. It doesn't look like it bent anything upwards or pushed anything upwards, so I think we're good, but, but look at that. It looks so good. If you look, the edges match up so good. Same thing for the other side too. Look at that. I mean, for an eBay lip, some zip ties, and then that $2 worth of hardware, this shit worked well. And these eBay lips, luckily, instead of paying, you know, like 120 or 170 or whatever the OEM ones go for, this was only, I think, $45 shipped, and it shipped in like two days free shipping so that's freaking clutch and then the splitter is just freaking it's quality man and you can't see the hardware right there unless you're literally like a mouse or like a cockroach or something but if you're not then you can't see that shit look at that all right so i think that's gonna be it for this video just a quick little install you guys will see more of uh work on this lip later once i go paint it 
but I don't know if I'm probably gonna go paint this at the same time I paint the side skirts and the diffuser just to make it easier to set up the paint booth once. But I think we're good for today. I mean, that's a success. It looks good. It holds the weight fine. We'll see how it is when we drive it, but I'm pretty sure there won't be any issues. Highly recommend it. It's really good quality, honestly. And uh, they're also gonna be adding a skid plate attachment that connects to the splitter. I don't know how it's gonna work exactly, but it's gonna be a whole system that works with each other. So uh, I'm excited to see how they do it and uh, if it'll work the way I mounted it. But anyways, hope you guys found this useful and uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs>